Hey guys, it's Rick. Welcome back to Jade Empire. Today on the show, we have Voldex. Say hi. Hi. He's here to make things funny. So, is that like all I have to do now? You just. I come in, I say hi, and then. Like 72 versions. Yeah, you're practically stealing money from me. I can't believe I pay you for this. Anyway. You pay me nothing! Why haven't I seen any activity among yeah. the Lotus Assassins yet? You should talk to the contacts I gave you. So who's this bitch? Okay, so that's Remember the princess. Reason. You secure the evidence of the army death's hand. Princess of the black the veil and no turban. Yeah, basically. Um, but like <laughs> Your guy looks so sad. Yeah, he is sad. He's sad because he hasn't gotten any poo tang yet. <laughs> but basically what's going on and I'll go ahead and do a recap for people that are joining us right now is here's Jade Empire in a nutshell our master was taken by this group of people called the Lotus Assassins because he's apparently he's secretly the Emperor's brother and these bastards came to our hometown and blew everything up and um, now we're working with the princess to uncover corruption in the Empire by sneaking into the Lotus Assassin's Order and, like, investigating them or something. But th that's about the gist. So right now we're trying to get the favors of the Inquisitor and the Executioner um, to Wait. get into the Lotus Assassin's and uncover conspiracy, what's going on. So we're looking into it. I'm sure you are, but if you did it quicker, we would all benefit. She's very Death's alluring. Stronger, and my father Look at those me. eyes. Yeah, they're pretty. I can't agree with this. You don't know what you're getting. Whoa. Into. You don't know the that guy looks like Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> he kind of does. Really? What did you see while hiding in your swamp? I've observed Death's Can you smell what the bald rock is there. cooking? You could have four faces and <laughs> well, he's not quite bald, he's got a little you still scrunchy, Death's coochie, hair, bunch at the top, whatever the fuck that's called. What is that? What, there's like a special word for what they call that, like a hair bunch. But his power does not Forgive Voltex if he still. talks over cutscenes, by the way. He can't help it. He can't <laughs> hear the in-game audio. I'm sorry. It sounds like Sagacious Zoo wants to go back into hiding. Or perhaps the nursery? Pay no attention, not everyone is as weak as he is. Wow, what a bitch. Um... You guys just thought uh, just... Hmm. See, here's an interesting oh. choice. Do I side with Sagacious Zoo or do I side with Silk Fox? Actually... Um... I could just side with neither of them. That would be the proper thing to do. It's like, I'll do what I must murder. and stop bitching at each other. Yeah, that's pretty good. You don't know what they are capable of. Kind of like in Skyrim. I never really got into the conflict between the Stormcloaks and the Imperials. This is not helping anything. Are we any closer to getting to the Lotus Assassin so this accursed woman will help us find Master Lee? Dawnstar really Ma doesn't like her. Oh, Master Lee is very masterly in all forms of martial arts. She has some spirit in her after all. And she's also right. I'm guessing this game's just riddled in, um... Plans that Death's Hand has been making. You have like, to move quicker. what's the word I'm looking for? Go it's to like, the Imperial Arena you wanna... You want, it's like, it's like a riddle. With scholar Don Gao in the scholar's garden it's about convoluted. It's a convoluted riddle. <laughs> what? It, it is... It, it does have kind of a mystery aspect to it, I guess. Uh, let's see here. What can I do? I want to ask more about this evidence you want. Uh, let's do that first. We've gone over this. Death's okay, death's okay, fine. My father probably knows I am angry at whatever you say to me. The, 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 whatever, <sighs> okay. I want to talk about you. Why is your servant giving me... Oh yeah, she gave me an imperial favor like when I, when I left her the first time and I was just kind of like, eh? Did you like it? I thought you might want to live Favors, a eh? Consider it a small token of my favor. Got yourself a little harem there, princess. Yeah, seriously. Full I appreciated sad. your gift. I, I actually did. I've got it equipped right now. I thank you for your courtesy. A woman always likes. To <laughs> Instead of it's like, no, it's kind of just molding away my inventory, taking up dust. For one of Sorry about that. To give gifts, even one so simple as what I gave you. A princess is not normally allowed to show favorites. Uh, then why take the risk if you didn't want to show ferrets? Hmm? Hmm? Better that I give it away before Death's Hand carts it off. 
He has been quite brazen. Besides, it was mine by birthright to do with as I wish. Wow, she's fiery. Dictated to by tradition, despite my respect for it. Incredibly fiery. Sometimes I want whatever you want <sighs> to be myself. She just wants to be herself. And to be myself, I. I'm guessing she doesn't have much freedom as the princess. It's oh like... no, no, no. She this alternate person <clears throat> persona that she has, uh, Silk Fox, is like her her superhero identity for getting out into the public. Wow, she's like Princess Jasmine, but she kicks ass. Yeah, and I, uh, I thank you for the gift and risk you to, to keep giving it. I will show you the mm. world. Well, you're polite at least. Most nobles take gifts as a matter of <laughs> well, I'll just show her the world. She'd probably blow it up. But the price I may pay for helping you could be... Having any WMDs under that silk? Destined to rule oh my the god. After my father, that was like uncalled for. <laughs> <laughs> Death's hand keeps his hold on my father's mind. Boobs of mass destruction. One day he may try to interfere with the imperial succession, or perhaps convince my father that he should be emperor. By or maybe marriage. she's got like a. Maybe she's like um. Oh, what's that chip from Mortal Kombat? It takes off a veil and she's like <laughs> underneath. Yeah. yeah, we 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 don't want Death's hand to become emperor. That's a bad thing. Indeed, we cannot. I would bite my own Why is he an asshole? A little bit, considering he was the one that burned my village down. I'm sorry, I've he's the he's apparent he's the he's the First supposed right hand of the emperor that's supposed to be in charge of the army right now. And that's the hand that bitch slaps every other type of person that doesn't agree with who he. Right? It's like I don't agree with you. I'm just gonna bitch slap. I want to talk to you about the emperor, actually. My father? What do you want? Death's hand is wearing <laughs> away at that reputation, however. Um. <clears throat> when did Death's hand join your father's court? He has been present for as long as I can remember, but he only rose to prominence after the end of the long drought. Mm. Or did he like drink all the water himself? Oh, let me tell you about the long drought. I'll tell you about that later. Long drought's basically the backstory as to why like all these events were set in motion. Uh, what was your father like before all this started? My father was very caring when I was a child. Now he is cold and distant. I know Death's Hand is corrupting him somehow. Um, bum, 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 bum. I think I'm done with her. I wish you... Okay. Now, this, this token, I, I'm just going to show you because I know you haven't watched the actual anything. I've uh, been watching a couple of things. However, she does remind me of Melina from Mortal Kombat. You're a lying bitch. Anyway, this thing called Imperial Favor is the only power-up that gives you a chance to get more power-ups from, like, defeating things in combat. Because you get, like orbs and shit that drop on the ground. It's really nice. It's really helpful. I trust your plans go well. Despite the danger. I like that idea. Reflect, More power in the shape of a convenient little blue orb. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. So you gain power by picking up blue balls. Um how do you feel about the plan to join the Lotus Assassins? I need your knowledge. It is a foolish idea. You do not understand the seductive nature of the assassins and what they do to recruits. <laughs> okay. Well, um, enlighten me. It does not take much to make a person forget who they are. With a little effort, they can be pushed past any morals they might have claimed. Cloaked in service and honor, even the most depraved of barbarity soon becomes unremarkable. Hmm. I'm very sad about that. Uh, you... Uh, yeah. Please tell me more. Strong enough to... Uh, I will find a way to enter without participating in their foul ways. A naive assumption. Perhaps you can avoid direct participation, but their fanaticism will still affect you. The rot that is Death's hand. What is this Death's place. hand? Oh, he's a butthead. He he's pretty the prominent through the entire game. Oh, it's one guy. I thought it was like a conglomerate of super assassins. No, 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 no. Uh, Google him. I will do no such thing. I'll probably get arrested. He never questioned. The connection is more direct than loyalty, and he instills that in his little bubble of hair at the top. Oh my god! It looks like a teapot. I can just pop a little bubble of hair, and it'll just tilt his head, and teal come out.
God, you have completely taken this LP down a horrible <laughs> road. I should not have brought you in here. <laughs> it was going so well and so serious until you came along. Ah, <laughs> uh, God. Um. So, uh, Zudas, why does this trouble you so much? You've killed many before and since. Um, actually, yeah, why does this bother you so much? There was more to that event. You are right to sense it. But I have kept my silence for so long that I must carefully consider the repercussions of breaking Oh, we're getting into some plot details here. I must inevitably deal with my demons. Your destiny demands it. But I must also know that those demons will be put to rest, not exploited. For many years, I did nothing. If I had known Must Master be. Lee was the glorious strategist, so much could have been resolved one way or another. In the end, I will have to trust that you are enough his student to find a way to protect what I cannot. What are you hinting at? Is he coming on to you? No. He's he's going on about how I have to protect something that he can't, like, and I'm really I confused. Can you, like, take my job? Because I've been doing this shit for, like, 25 years, and I gotta tell you, it's not as great as you'd think, yeah. risking your life. Uh, you, uh, we each have our own path. I will listen when you are ready. That's pretty good. So you claim. I am not accustomed to words having such weight. We should... We should resume your mission. You have far to go. Okay, I think I just got in cool with him. I think he's very happy. I think it's unwise to trust and he doesn't him. trust Silfa's princess at all. It's like, she has her own agenda, blah, 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 blah. I don't like her, blah, 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 blah. Thanks, Dwayne. You seem tired, Dawnstar. Make sure you get some rest. Our journey will only get longer, and you've been through a great deal. Dawnstar. M. Thank you, Sue. I'm fine. I will find time once we have set things right. Oh, so that's Sagacious Zoo. Sagacious Zoo. No, 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 no. He's named after Sagacious Zoo. Wait, sagacious. wait, wait. No, he's named after Sagacious Tien. He is Sagacious Zoo. I'm retarded. Sorry. <laughs> I wonder what Tien oh, means. Just... It's not like from Dragon Ball Z with Ten Shin Han. The only arrest we can't stop now. Actually, I need to be concerned about. And Dawn Star as well, because that's good. <laughs> he looks so mopey. He's like Omi from. Uh, what was that show called? That was weird. Okay. Um, can I actually talk network. to her right now? No, probably not. Okay. Let's see if Sagacious Zeus. Uh, are you here to talk? The time is coming. Challenge showdown. Not well, yet. Was, the challenge. Okay. So he's ready to talk about his mystery, whatever, um, but not quite. Yes. Okay, I've got him prepped basically. Okay. Also, um, this guy. As you have you? Do you know who this guy is? This little Cover dude. Cover to Shen. No, 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 no. no, no. Impact Ho. Impact Ho is the drunken master guy, and he throws you beer in combat and stuff, and it's really cool. Um, oh. Once again, another Mortal Kombat thing. He's Bo Raicho, we've got uh, Covetous Shen, Melina. This is great. The whole freaking team from Mortal Kombat's here. Are you serious? I need to look this up. Okay, I need to talk to Sky really quick because he has something oh, to say. To what do you need? Uh, Sky, by the way, is our closet. Um, what's okay. the word? No. Worse than that. Closet skeleton? No, no, no. No, you're on the right track. Hang on. I'm looking for the word. Wait, do you think gay people come out of the closet because they're afraid of the skeleton? Uh, well, what would happen if you had a gay necrophiliac? But, uh, I broke your brain. Uh, <laughs> I broke okay. Voldex. Anyway, you broke in. Uh, um, always happy to help. What do you need? Not that that's a very difficult thing to do. What's on you. your mind right now? Dawnstar has been Inside telling me about two rivers, the Swamp and Gal the Lesser. Hmm. I was sorry to hear about your town and your friends. It brought <laughs> a question to mind. <clears throat> okay, what question? There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Why? Seriously, why are you doing this? 
I've been waiting for someone in my party to ask me that question, actually. He's just been, like, building up the answer, like, uh, I was attacked by trolls when I was very young, and it bit the head off my goat. Well, he's, he's bringing up a really good point. We are basically going against the entire empire right now. For your own reasons, I bet it's a little bit more convoluted than that. Uh... Does he like seek ultimate power? I mean, what kind of? I mean, I've not played this game before. Is it like one where you can have like your own free choice, where you could become any kind of character you want, like good or evil? Or it has a your... it has a fable style morality system. Oh, Actually, no, that's not fair. It has a um, Knights of the Old Republic style morality system. That guy behind you looks like. Oh, he's awesome! Like I'll, I'll introduce you to later. <laughs> the people are suffering. It's a matter of honor. Um, actually, people are suffering. That fits my character's archetype. He's, my character's, uh, just, like, he's, like, freaking, I don't know. He reminds me of Barack Obama for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. I It might be the bald thing. I, whatever. I started Barack calling Obama. him Monk Obama at the very beginning of the game. I wonder if fate Barack cast Obama's this burden upon you, or if you rose up on really. your own to shoulder it. It's bald ish. Probably decide. <laughs> Balding. I know you're going to follow. I think so he did Fox's drugs when he was in college or something. Or he was. It won't be he did easy, something when he was in college. We'll he had a succeed. massive afro, I think. Uh no. It's what happens after you find a way in that has me worried. What do you think I'm gonna do in there? I can look after myself. I've dealt with the assassins before. I know, I know, but never in Maybe he doesn't way. have a lot of never faith. Place. I think Sky's just getting worried that I'm gonna get butt raped by someone that isn't him. I knew uh, <laughs> the drawn to the eh? They went into that place. Probably <clears throat> as you intend to. Not that's as I seen. And the few who made it back out were different. Don don don. They'll have to kill me before they change me. That's reassuring that to assholes were never the same shape ever again. Their way is right. Mm -hmm. I know you'll be fine. <laughs> Maybe that's what they call the Lotus Assassins, because I think the Lotus is a Kama Sutra move. Be sure not to tip your hand before you're ready. No, no, no! It's from that. It's from that movie, Blades of Glo Glory, or something. The Iron Lotus. Glory. Yeah. That's a good. Well, movie. I mean the people. The people in the east, they really, That's really the future, like though. lotus, the like the lotus doing, flower. It's, it's like, isn't it supposed to be a symbol of immortality? Or peace? I, I forget which of what course. it is, what it symbolizes, but they love the lotus. They go crazy for flowers over there. I really wanted to have like a Japanese garden at some time in my life before I died, even though I can hardly take care of a houseplant. Okay, let me check them on wildflower really quick. Uh, are you okay with oh. the demons in you? They don't come out very much. The yeah, she's got demon problems. The other inside. When the other <laughs> I'm not surprised the way she looks. Feels like my head is going to tear itself apart. She has she has mental problems. Um, yeah, yeah, demons. Yeah. Must okay. be really hard on you. Yes, but the guardian has always been with me, and I trust him. The other one has been there too, but smaller. They won't say why. Hit every single branch on the way down the lotus tree. <clears throat> Hush, child. That was me for now. Holy crap! Try cause a badass. Going all airbender on your ass. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Why did you choose watch. her? That's a pretty good question. <clears throat> and he's not here right now, Mrs. Torrens. <laughs> <laughs> you did not. Red rum. Oh my god. Oh come on, she was begging for it. Or he, or whatever the fuck's inside her. Holy shit. Yeah, red She's got more than one demon inside her. Yeah, she's got she she's got yin and yang going on in her. Uh, Chai Ka is the yin and Yazin is the yang. One of them is a giant lion uh, statue, like a foodog, and the other one is um, a lizard. 
Like, well, a, like a gecko. You know what they say, you're never alone with schizophrenia. What, what do you want? Uh, what are your thoughts on the situation, Black Whirlwind? I can't believe Silk Fox is the princess. Who'd have thought a spoiled little emperor's daughter could fight like that? Her dad certainly brought her up right. Ha! <laughs> I'm a false trademark symbol. Ha ha! Angel doesn't what? Get spoiled by anyone. Come on. Teach her how to kick Mickey a Mouse ass is. into his throat. <laughs> That's only like Minnie. Are you retarded? You'd better keep going if you're ever going to pass as a lotus. <laughs> looks like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> you're Those freaking dumb. That's nothing. He looks nothing like Mickey Mouse. He just has two little things. Hobnobs. Uh, hobnobs. Oh, I need to talk to That's Kang what we're really gonna quick. Call them. Gonna... That's what we call them. We call them hobnobs. Well, Whatever. Well, is the Imperial City you know, hobnob is a type of biscuit over here in England. Spectacle compared to the bulk of I don't the like them very much, unless they're in chocolate. Dragonfly performed perfectly. Of course. Well, uh, I need to... Uh, Actually, I, guess, like, I haven't talked to him about his crazy wind map yet. Yes, yes. I was about to say that guy looks like he was the guy that gave you that plane. He did give me that plane. Cool. So he's like an Eastern Da Vinci. Yeah, basically. Oh, I gotta do more freaking flying missions. That's right. Uh, oh, that's fun considering you were having problems with it earlier. Yeah, I'm gonna. Okay. All right, you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and save because we've been talking a while. Um. So. Oh, save 101. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, yeah. We've done a lot of stuff this episode. Uh. Kind of. Not really at all. We basically just have been in the starting plaza <laughs> talking, but it's been a lot of talking. Um. Well, I enjoy talking with you. Yeah. So. You know what we're going to make this episode? We're going to make this episode uh, viewer opinions on you being here. If they don't oh, like great. you, if they don't like you, I'm not letting you come back. I'm not letting you do this oh, again. Oh, no. Oh, God. So, we've got to put it to the public vote. We'll put it to the X Factor approach and just say, okay, it doesn't matter how good or bad you are. If the public don't like you, then you can fuck off. What? I love you people. Please don't kick me away. I love this. <laughs> that was a little creepy. I mean, like, <laughs> honestly, it is an opinion thing because it's really hard to do certain aspects. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I think I think it'll, it'll make it a lot funnier, but I'm not sure if that was what we were going for because it'll be hard to keep track of the story. So this is going to be an experimental episode. Um, if you don't like Voldex being here, I'm probably going to refilm this entire little dialogue with all these people using my normal commentary style, <laughs> and we'll go from there. Is that fair? Is that a fair way to do it? I'm fine with that. I That's perfectly fine. And if you guys have any uh, constructive criticism, if you don't like me talking during the cutscenes, that's fine. But me being me, I like to blurt out random comments. It's really because... funny. I'm just not <laughs> sure if it works for this Let's Play. I mean, like, definitely we're gonna have to do something together later. I might have to end up buying you, um... Because Fireweaver completely... Dude, he cheesed down on me. Did I tell you about that? No, no, it's it's fine. I mean, we can... No, we no, can no, 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 this is something completely different. I bought him Bulletstorm a year ago. Really? Yeah, and I wanted to record with him, and he was like, Oh, yeah, I'd love to do Bulletstorm with you. <laughs> Guess how much time we found for that. <laughs> I've got Bulletstorm too. I mean, you and me can do that. Hey, guys, what do you think? Should me and Rec do Bulletstorm? Dude, Watch that'd be fucking comments. cool. Okay, um, you know what? We might not even, like, play Jade Empire. I might put it on hiatus for another, like, three months. We might just do a Bulletstorm <laughs> Let's Play. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, one thing. I wanna do Jade Empire, I wanna do Bulletstorm, I wanna do Cube World, I wanna do Mass Effect, I wanna do freaking just every game that ever existed. Voldex. Voldex. For, for you are not supposed, you are not supposed to tell them about Cube World and Mass Effect. That was going to be a surprise. <laughs> you dirty wanker. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you're fired. Is there any better way of doing it? That's what she said. <laughs> 